Hi, this is Thomas coming to you with another quick video tutorial for your ePortfolio. The question I'm going to answer today is how do I upload my resume? Now this is a question I get a lot and it's really simple so I'll go through the steps for you. The first thing you need to do is save your resume as a PDF file onto your computer. And once you have that you can upload it onto the resume page. So when I go to my resume page there's nothing here right now. And if you're already logged in you can just click the edit button right at the bottom to bring you straight to the editing page. So I'm going to remove some of this text here. And I'm going to go ahead and click this button that says Add Media. And when you click Add Media, you can use this to add photos, add videos, you can even insert YouTube videos, um, and even tweets from your Twitter. But today we're just going to use it to upload our resume. So to upload your resume, just click this Upload Files tab at the upper left hand corner. And you can drop the file right here onto the window, or you can click this button that says Select Files, which I'll do. And I'm going to locate my file. My resume is right on the desktop here. Once it's selected, click Choose. And it'll give you a little checkbox once it's uploaded. Now, I've already done it once before, but this is a second version of it. So on the right-hand side, there's a menu that gives you some options. The title here is actually going to be the text that's going to link you to the actual file. So when they click on that link, it's going to download the file. So you can change this text or the title um, to really read whatever you want to actually be linked. So it might not just be Thomas Moore Resume 2014, but you can change it to say click here to download resume. Once that's done, you can see here the attachment display settings. By default, it's going to link to that media file, which is the resume. And then we're going to click Insert into Post. And there you have it. It's right here. It says click here to download the resume. Now, it's not actually going to function if you click on it to link you to the file, but we can test it out. So we'll click the Update button once that's done. And once the page has been updated, we're going to click View Page and it'll bring us to the page and there's a link right here that says click here to download resume and when I click on that it opens up automatically and it gives them the ability to download it as well so there you have it that is how to quickly upload your resume onto your WordPress ePortfolio thank you for listening